you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries february 11th thursday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint mark chapter 7 verses 24 to 30 From there he set out and went away to the region of Tyre. He entered a house and did not want anyone to know he was there. Yet he could not escape notice, but a man whose little daughter had an unclean spirit immediately heard about him and she came and bowed down at his feet. Now the woman was a Gentile of Syrophoenician origin. She begged him to cast the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, Let the children be fed first, for it is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. But she answered him, Sir, even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. Then he said to her, For saying that, you may go. The demon has left your daughter. So she went home, found the child laying on the bed and the demon gone the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ dear friends today the holy catholic church keeps the memory of uh, our lady of lords go and tell the priest that people should come here in procession and that a chapel should be built here this is the message benedict received from the beautiful lady in the apparition of uh, 2nd march 1858 pilgrims have never ceased to come to the grot of uh, this place to hear the message of the conversion and hope which is addressed to them and we have done the same here we all pray to our lady at the feet of mother the immaculate virgin eager to learn from her alongside little bernadette yes this is the great mystery that mary also enters as this day inviting us to turn towards her son in fact it is significant that during the first apparition to bernadette mary begins to encounter with the sign of the cross more than a simple sign it is an you know initiation into the mysteries of the faith that benedict receives from mother mary the sign of the cross is a kind of a synthesis of our faith for it tells how much god loves us it tells us that there is a love in this world that is stronger than death stronger than our witnesses and sins the power of love is stronger than the evil which threatens us it is this mystery of the universality of god's love for men that mary came to reveal her in lords she invites all people of good will all those who suffer in heart and body to raise their eyes towards the cross of jesus so as to discover there the source of life the source of salvation yes dear brothers and sisters the primary purpose of her the shrine at lourdes is to be a place of encounter with god in prayer and a place of service to our brothers and sisters notably though the welcome of everybody they receive blessings from all mother mary yes mary's message is a message of hope for all men and women of our day whatever they are wherever they are whatever their country they belong yes dear brothers and sisters in this land of france the mother of the lord is venerated in countless shrines which thereby manifest the faith handed down from generation to generation celebrated her in her assumption she is beloved pattern of us may she always be honored fervently in each of our families 
in our communities, in our parishes. Yes. Amen. Happy Feast Day.